The life of a primary school pupil is often compared to that of going on a journey. A journey of discovery and learning where they forge and develop knowledge, skills, behaviours and core principles to prepare them for the challenges of secondary education and adult life. In order to make that journey successfully, primary school pupils need a suitable vehicle to transport them on their way. Imagine if school were like a ship, happily making a six-year voyage from Juvenile Isle to the St Bernard Islands. Pupils would board the ship on their very first day full of excitement and potential. Various experienced crew members would take it in turn to steer the ship, often for a year at a time, and the expedition would be safely overseen by the boss lady, Captain Russell, a fine skipper indeed. Life on board the ship is generally a happy time, but Captain Wassell does insist that all her new recruits increase their knowledge and develop in core subjects such as maths, English, reading and writing. Take maths for example. Because we all learn at a different pace, some children race ahead. They effectively shoot off on jet skis and leave the boat behind. Others fall behind because they struggle with maths and they have to be helped along the way, too afraid to take off their life jacket. Some do remain on the main ship, but it all seems disjointed. The jet ski gang have the potential to reach the St Bernard Islands many months, even years before the main ship. But are they really ready and fully equipped to thrive there? And what of those being helped along? It's time for a rethink. Instead of sailing out on the voyage in a creaky old tea clipper, why not have a beautiful glass bottom boat? More importantly, instead of allowing some to fall overboard and be pulled along, or permitting others to race ahead on their jet skis, let's all go on the same journey together. After all, we as humans learn better in groups, especially a group of friends. Our aim isn't about who can get to the St Bernard Islands quickest, it's about all arriving there together. We don't just want to skirt over the surface of the ocean at various different speeds because there's an entire world beneath our feet. Sure, people have different learning abilities, but instead of driving the more able forwards with just a fleeting knowledge, let's all stay on the same boat and have those children look deep. No one gets left behind, no one races ahead. We all enjoy the voyage at the same pace, but some children will explore the greater depths along the way. Maths mastery is all about looking deeper. Not racing ahead, but looking deeper. Not simply ticking a box to say that an element has been covered, but cementing and applying a greater intensity of knowledge for a particular area of maths. So for example, some children would easily understand the principles of a half because we all too often teach taking a pizza and cutting it into two equal portions, so we let them on jet skis go on to thirds, quarters, eighths and so on, while we assist those who are struggling with the concept of a half. Under maths mastery, we'd all work on a half together, but those who grasp it more quickly would start to look through the glass bottom of the boat to go deeper on this element. How does a half apply to money? What's half of a litre? Investigate half of time, half of volume, distance. No one racing ahead, just looking deeper. There may prove to be the odd few shipmates who need to explore even deeper than that. They might have to get into the ship's mini submarine to effectively scan the ocean floor because they want to learn various methods for calculating a half, displaying a half as a fraction, percentage, performing calculations using a half and so on. The Chinese, who lead the way on global maths education, describe the British method of teaching maths as a mile long, but just an inch deep. For many years now, they have taught fewer areas of maths, but made experts of their pupils in these particular areas. Their motto is, maths gets you everywhere. Under Maths Mastery, the good ship HMS St. Bede would sail her six-year voyage with everyone on board, and we would arrive at our destination together. Because it is not about how fast you get there, but the depth of understanding you experience along the way. Pushing children on at speed with regard to maths, compared to a slower, much more in-depth understanding of the subject, is a lot like speeding in your car. Sure, you'll get there quicker, 
But do you fully understand how you did it? And did you really have time to enjoy the journey? In order to become fluent in the fundamentals of mathematics, our aim here at St Bede's is for pupils to develop conceptual understanding and the ability to recall and apply knowledge rapidly and accurately. Maths mastery at St Bede's, because going to greater depths makes solid mathematicians. Yeah!